はい皆さんこんにちは翔です今回なんですけど僕がね今撮ってるセメスターの後半戦になってきてまして今日がですねあの僕が、えー、抱えている論文エッセイのプレゼン発表なんですよ3000字のね、えー、レポートがこの前あるって動画で伝えしたと思うんですけどその3000字の自分が書いたレポートをもとに、えー、7分未満のねプレゼン資料を自分で作って先生とクラスメートにね発表するっていうものがあるんですよそれもね、えー、プレゼンテーションも評価対象の一つとなってるんで、まあ、僕らはねあやらないといけないんですけど今日ね実は僕の、えー、プレゼンの出番があるわけですよなのでね今回の動画は皆さんに僕のねあのプレゼンの様子をもしかしたらカットするかもしれないですけどできればノーカットで流したいと思います、うん、あまりにもねあのポーズが長かったりとか、えー、何言ってるか分からなかった時はもうカットしますけど基本的にはカットしないように、えー、僕もねプレゼンで気をつけながら話していければいいかなと思いますまあ、なんでねこの動画見ていただければ僕の、まあ、英語力もそうですし、えー、プレゼンのねスタイルっていうところも分かると思いますんでぜひね最後まで見ていただければと思いますそれでは早速いってきましょう Why are you laughing, man? <laughs> Student in Japan, I was too shy to ask a good question to the teacher. So, whenever I get a simple question or problem, I ask the ChatGPT for my feedback and opinion on my assi assignment or assessment. And then, now I'm here, so I graduate from university, university in Japan. So, what I want to try to say is AI can improve the student's learning. So, this is my thesis as well. This is the agenda I will talk about today. First, what are the problems in the current higher education? There are the three things I will show you. There are a variety of students' needs, and there is not enough time for teachers to clarify all the questions in the class. And also, the university. University culture is created in general instead of considering of individual students' ability. So those three things are problem which AI can approach to solve. This is the main topic, how to improve students' learning. So I'm gonna talk about game with AI and personalized learning and also accessibility. First, game with AI. Game can increase students' engagement or motivation because students can learn new knowledge while they play game. I will give you one example, which is Kahoot. I think you might already, already use e d before. So, Kahoot is designed with a range of elements, including the music or time, time limit, and so on. What Kahoot can do is provide the student. Provide students with the quizzes and visual, visual feedback to students' choices. And in my personal experience,、uh, the competition, the kind of competition style, inspired me to get a higher score because c a p r o o t can dis display how many scores I get on the main screen so everyone can see it. So, this is going to lead to student motivation. Second, personalized learning. Students have different interests, strengths, and weakness. But how can current higher education system approach to all of them? No, they can't. Because the curriculum in higher education is great in general, instead of concern of student ability. But AI has the ability to analyze the information, so AI can provide students with. Individual、uh, educational module. At the last, AI is accessibility. So, s u c h GPT is never sleep, 24 hours and 7 days availability. And if students have any kind of、uh, devices with internet, you can access,、uh, they can access the s u c h GPT anywhere and anytime. 
So once uh, once student get any simple problem or question, they can ask anytime. However, there are some risks of using ChatGPT, inaccurate information, plagiarism and cheating, and lack of deep learning. I will give you one example of inaccurate and old information. I asked ChatGPT what the biggest uh, news was in Japan in 2023. This is the answer from ChatGPT. <laughs> uh, so they can't answer for my for my question because ChatGPT was created in 2021. They uh, ChatGPT can't analyze the information after 2022. So if you use or uh, if you ask ChatGPT for anything, it might be wrong information or information. So what should it should it need to do is always evaluate the information and verify it is trustworthy or not. This is the conclusion. AI can bring learning benefits such as improving the uh, engagement or motivation and personalized learning and accessibility. But there are some uh, risks they need to understand. But if you if you use ChatGPT or AI tools properly, AI can assist your learning skills. Yeah, that's all. はい、ということでね、プレゼンテーションが今ね、見てもらった通り終わったと思うんですけど、いかがだったでしょうか、まあね、めちゃくちゃね、緊張したんですけど、7分未満のプレゼンだったんですよ、今回。で、完全字で自分であの書いた論文、エッセイをもとに、その7分間しゃべるみたいな、えー、プレゼンだったんで、かなりね、えー、自分が書いたレポートをもう凝縮して凝縮して、ポイントポイントを話したみたいな感じだったんで。全部はねやっぱり話しきれてないんですけどまあね緊張しましたね今はねもう友達と昼ご飯にね、えー、食べに来てます4時からねまた授業があるんでまあその間ちょっと友達とね食べりながら反省会しようかなと思います How do you feel?、Oh. Now? Yeah. I think it's kind of relaxed Kind of relaxed yeah. yeah Everything is done and、yeah. you don't have to be worried about、so、it So it's different now right? Yeah, so yeah But you a s s i g n e d an actual Exactly So the guy outside of the camera, he's very shy to show up in my video. So I can't show you guys him. Just enjoying his voice. So what do you think of my presentation? I think you're really confident. Yeah. And,、uh, did I? Yeah. And、uh, you know you did very great and complete. Yeah. So I think it's good. Thank you. But I can't pay for you yet. <laughs> <laughs> <笑> okay, anyway,、uh, I'm gonna wrap up on this, this video. ということでね、今回の動画はね、ここまでとなります。まあね、僕のプレゼンをね、聞いて、まあ、いろんなね、コメントあると思うんで、ぜひね、コメント欄になんかフィードバックください。もっとこうした方がいいんじゃないとか、もう発音をもうちょっと直した方がいいんじゃないとか、かね、そういうコメントをバシバシ送ってください。それで僕も英語スキルだったり、プレゼンスキルを磨いていきたいと思うんでね、えー、よろしくお願いします。ということで、この動画はここまでとなります。この動画がいいと思ったり、ためになったと思った方はぜひグッドボタンとチャンネル登録よろしくお願いします。それではまた次の動画でお会いしましょう。バイバイ。